Randhir Singh Jamwal was known as Kumarvi Yogi in literary circles. Both of us, that is uh, Kumarvi Yogi and myself, we belong to the same locality. The place is called Fatujogan and it is in the heart of old Jammu city. He was elder to me by few years. I remember when we were very young, we used to see him and his brother, both of them, sometimes with hockey sticks moving around, sometimes in football uniform uh, because they were very fond of uh, playing. The thing that I remember very distinctly is that he was a very handsome person. He was very tall, he was fair and he had blue eyes and he had very chiseled features. If he would pass by near you, you had the urge or you wanted to turn back your head and see him once more. He had such attractive personality. Kumari Yogi fell in love with literature at a very early age. He was mesmerized by the beauty and by the magic of the written world. And he remained under that spell throughout his life. Perhaps he was one of those uh, literateurs of Dogri who had read almost everything that was available from all over the world. And therefore, he was very keen observer of human life and he was very keen observer of human behavior. His writing was therefore influenced by the reading that he had done of the world literature. I'll recite a stanza from his long poem, Ghar. First, I'll recite in Dogri to give a flavor of Dogri language and then I'll read the English translation. Na mi paande paond te rubal, na paande dollar, na gulami karni kusayadi manana nai order, me duggar da basi pukha paana paame roga, desh bechi hai kadem bhi apna nai banana kar. I do not feel pulled by pound, rubal or dollar. I do not serve any, nor do I take an order. I am a Dogra and star me if you will. I would never sell my country to build my home.